Hello everyone, this is Joe for Soft Corners here, and for today's video, I'm uh, doing a video response for Jason, Mr. Fisher Bike. Um, if anybody is watching this, I'm sure you're already subscribed to him. Um, Jason's, I mean, real OG in this community, and uh, someone I've only been, I think I started watching around Hobby Palooza last year, so maybe for only like eight months or so, or something like that, but... Um, He's a great dude and love his videos and so just uh he asked the questions um why do we watch what we watch and why do we collect what we collect so i just wanted to answer those so um i'll have some cards to show off for the second part but first uh, i just want to say <clears throat> like why i collect um or sorry what why i watch what i watch um really watching anything on YouTube for me started, I got back in the hobby in 2013. And at that point I just opened a bunch of product and just chased hits and stuff basically. So, uh, I started watching videos back then of breaks and then, uh, people just opening blaster boxes or hobby boxes and stuff. And to me, that was just a way to try and, I guess the main, reason between that and what I'll say later is just to gain knowledge, um, to see what the products look like, see what you could pull, and then just, it's just cool to me to watch stuff where people, you know, pulled big autos or something like that. Um, and then later, <clears throat> I mean, I could just kept watching stuff like that for years and years, even when I didn't really rip stuff as much up into like 2017 2018 i wasn't really buying anything anymore um but i still just liked watching videos of breaks and people opening stuff just it was a way to stay relevant with what was new and stuff even if i wasn't purchasing it and then in um i believe 2019 uh i was selling some vintage cards for a neighbor of mine that um Asked, approached me and asked me to help him sell some stuff for him so <clears throat> I knew a little bit but I really didn't have I needed to gain a lot of knowledge so uh that's why I really I think the first channel I just started looking up videos on you know vintage sets and I, I where I found uh Mike Moynihan a baseball collector's channel and from there the whole um, the actual like community here on YouTube. Uh, it's where I kind of started watching from him and um, <clears throat> From there on out, I mean until I started making my own content uh, A lot of what I watched was just off recommendations from um, Like I said, I think I just watched his stuff for a while just to Try and learn a lot about the sets and then um once I did that, just kept watching and through the uh, YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame um, process, learned just through everybody's nom or through nominations, saw it coming in or <clears throat> ended up finding a lot of people from that and it just spiraled more and more from there. And then once I started making content, um, I mean, I had like, people I watched up until then but then once I started making content a lot of it was just reciprocating somebody would comment on something of mine I'd follow them and then just find stuff like that and as far as anything new it's just <clears throat> or what I like to watch like the can't miss stuff it's just I mean really if anybody's just super passionate about it and before I really got into watching the videos of the you know this community like of the real people <laughs> uh i i fell into the traps of watching some of the you know bigger names and stuff uh just because i mean when you look up sports card videos i mean somebody that has like fifty thousand subscribers or something like that you're of course you're gonna think like oh that's what so i mean but that didn't last long just because i realized it just wasn't for me and um wasn't what I wanted I wanted to you know somebody who was truly passionate about this and that just from here on out that's 
mainly what I gravitate to watching all the time is the people that just have a passion for it. Um, I mean, anything that's, I, I, I subscribe to so many, I don't do TTM, but I subscribe to people that do that. And some of my favorite videos are stuff like that and just different, um, different segments of this hobby that, you know, I might not do personally, but I still just enjoy watching it. And then like, <clears throat> uh, I know you mentioned, um, for w what you collect being similar to Shane. And, uh, I always go back to Shane shoebox legends, uh, just the way, you know, that passion and what we just the lack of focus is similar between me and him or him and I as well. And, um, but he always comments like, I'll, I'll watch every one of his videos just because I don't care if it's, I don't collect soccer. I don't collect hockey. I don't really collect Star Wars. I mean, I used to be in the Star Wars more, but I don't collect it at all. But even if it's the whole video is just that, I'll watch it. Cause I just love to see people generally passionate about something showing off what they love. So that's basically <clears throat> the main reasons of why I watch what I watch now, um, why I collect what I collect. Uh, I went into this a few times, but, um, I mean, the main thing when I got back in, I said, I just opened, I was commu accumulating cards instead of collecting anything really just cause I didn't really have like, PC or anything I was specifically collecting I was just was like scratching lottery tickets and trying to find and it wasn't even for them I didn't sell anything till like five or six years later it wasn't even it was just the thrill of doing that which really regret I could have <laughs> picked up a lot of stuff in that time just you know straight up buying but um then did some modern player PCs still do that here or there I mean basically what it comes down to what I collect is just anything that I have like catches my eye really like I know you said about you and Shane being the same and like I said I'm the same way I know Shane joked a few times like don't get into a lack of focus competition with him but like that's kind of I know I get him <clears throat> I probably get in my own way a lot of times of you know I might be saving up for a big card or I might think oh I wish I could get that bigger card but if I would have made like three or four smaller purchases I could have just got that card but I still have fun with it and I mean if I see something I like I, I usually end up picking like if I pick it up I things easily catch my eye and I lose focus and get distracted very quickly but at the same time I just enjoy collecting all of it and if later a year or two or months later or whatever I end up having to move some of that stuff to fund something else that's what I do and it's kind of what I'm once I got <clears throat> into vintage uh, I built the 1960 top set and you can see back here this is basically all just binders of random um my thing for a while was just to pick up any vintage I just saw you know I, I don't really collect um I got, I'm fine with stuff in a lot of different conditions so um if anything's like heavily discounted because it has a crease or because the corners are soft or the centering's off like I usually just buy those um so I just accumulated tons of stuff like that but I currently have like three four percent maybe ten percent in a whole bunch of sets instead of um really focusing on some certain sets now I am down to 19 cards for the 53 top set so that's a main focus and then I'm like halfway through like 59 and 61 so those I'll probably keep um, picking stuff up for eventually, but then going forward, I'm just going to try and focus in on maybe one at a time. Uh, <clears throat> and currently, like I said, just kind of shifting some of that stuff. Um, been putting, pulling a lot of stuff out, stuff that's in decent condition that isn't necessarily the way I just got them in lots or something like that. And it's not necessarily the way I collect or what I don't need it in that high condition. I can sell it for somewhat of a premium. So, I might end up doing that to fund some other things, but so besides just that in general, I mean, this past year, um, a lot of it is, I mean, if I see, especially, um, some of this older stuff like vintage that just can't miss, I'm 
these were things that I, you know, weren't specifically doing for sets. I just like the um at my one LCS. It's I've talked about it a couple times. So anybody that watches, I, I mean, it's just a very odd place. So like a lot of this stuff is almost hidden there just because um, it's not been really dug through in a while. So like some of this stuff, like this exhibits Mini Minoso, it was probably priced before he was a Hall of Fame. Well, I know it was probably priced 15, 20 years ago. And um, <clears throat> there's somebody wrote on there and then tried to erase it, but this was less than a dollar. So <laughs> I will pick something up like that every day. Um, this, I believe 39 through 46 uh, Ted Williams exhibits. This was $9 because of the staple holes there. Um, from the same place, I picked up some of these, this Archie Vaughn. I think all these next ones were about $15 a piece from 39 Playball. And then these Brooke Ross, uh, first the money, Irvin from 52. Um, and then rookie year, Mini Minoso. Again, probably priced before it was, you know, it was a Hall of Famer, but. <clears throat> so that's always a folk, or always one way I collect. Um, and then, I know I mentioned Shane a couple times, but uh, I got into collecting autographs this past year. Uh, I kind of always, when I used to be the, the guy, you know, chasing hits, I kind of tried to stay far away from that then because I didn't want to be like, that's all I wanted to collect, but. Um, so I kind of avoided autographs for a while, but I've really got into it. And this is a literal, actual fan favorite autograph, but I call, I've been collecting stuff I call like that. This was a gift from Shane. Um, but guys, you know, that aren't Hall of Famers. There's a nice carry wood. <clears throat> and just get some representation from some different sets. So that's cool too. Um, Jay Buhner. And then um, some Hall of Famers too. So I've just been really enjoying this past year as a lad, Guerrero Senior, and then it's Mike Schmidt. Just really been enjoying getting into this. So just ways to keep it fresh. Um, this is one side PC that's definitely going to keep growing. This was the first one I picked up. I think I'll focus in on maybe these celebrations from the Prez Steel, but I showed these a few times now, but Warren Spawn and then... I mean, these were... I just think these are... The artwork's beautiful. It's a great canvas for a signature, and... I think each of these were roughly like thirty, thirty-five dollars. So I mean, I it's a, it's still trying to expand the Hall of Fame autograph collection a little bit. That's a great way to do it. So that's basically it. Like I said, um, I'm definitely the same way, losing focus. I uh, my a couple months ago, I started you know really trying to focus again on the fifty-three set and knocked out. A decent amount of cards for that again but then as soon as just as I thought well I'm gonna really focus on this then I see a whole bunch of different stuff and go down different paths but I mean as long as I'm having fun with it it's it is what it is and I'll probably still always continue to do it that way it's just um, you know all part of the hobby and all part of fun so um, so that's it uh, thank you for asking these questions, really great way to, you know, thought provoking questions to think a little bit on. Um, and in, from it, I mean, people might gain, <clears throat> I'm really curious to watch a bunch of people's videos. You know, everybody might gain a little bit of perspective or different way of doing things. So that's always, that's always great to find. So, uh, again, if you're not go subscribe to Mr. Fisher bike, I'll leave his link in the title in the description. Um, thank you, Jason, for doing this and 
everyone else, thank you for watching. And just remember, any car can be a great looking car, even if it has four soft corners. Thank you.